Hey guys, welcome back to some more EO Tennis 2 and part 31 of our career mode. Today we take on Novak Djokovic in the third round of the Monte Carlo Open. And there has been a new patch uh, released, so this is the first video that we have um, sort of done on that patch. So I'm looking forward to, to seeing what it's like. I have heard um, that it's broken a few people's career modes, so hopefully that won't happen to us. But... Uh, yeah, we're playing Novak Djokovic today, and wow, he's uh, 87 overall. It's going to be a very, very tough match for us to be to be brutal about it. We're going to probably be thrashed six love, six love. But you know that's what we're expecting, and uh, you know anything more than that is a bonus. But uh, obviously, there's been a lot of gameplay uh, tweaks, so it's going to take a while to get used to the game again. Apparently the injury system has been tweaked as well, so we'll just see how it goes. Um, we've been playing very well this tournament so far. Whether or not we'll be able to keep that form uh, against the likes of Novak Djokovic, I'm not so sure. But, uh, well, a quicker loading time, which is an advantage, I suppose, so let's get into it. Well, that character model doesn't look much like Djokovic, but uh, here we go, ready and raring to go. Novak Djokovic to serve. The timing seems weirdly different. Oh, well wide. Goodness me, I don't know why he went backhand there. But we managed to just about hold him off here with the, the, the sort of drop shot. He came forward, came on to his backhand and massively hit it out. So, okay, not a bad start for us. Just about got there. He's just hitting this quite timidly at the moment. Oh, and that's out as well. Goodness me. Two unforced errors from the AI early on here. That slice was pretty good, pretty low. But you wouldn't expect Novak Djokovic to miss that. Not a good start for real life world number one. That hits the line as well. And so does that. Love 40 here. Wow. Yeah, good, good serve and apparently we don't move for them anymore. Since Djokovic is First point of the match. Oh no, that went wrong. Try to play the drop shot. I mean, we hit a couple of good shots there, but that little sort of hop. Over the net from the AI is proven troublesome. Oh, and again, he hasn't hit it. That's annoying. Oh, well. 
it's got a sprained ankle apparently so have they actually tuned the injuries Good. Fourth break point here. This might be our only chance to break the Djokovic serve, so. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Good, very good. Advantage. So fifth break point now. Oh, what a passing shot, and we managed to break Novak Djokovic in the first game. And not really playing anywhere near our best. That was a lovely shot, though. Cross court. Good passing shot. One love. That's the third instance of not hitting it, which is quite frustrating. Oh, that's a lovely shot. It's a lovely shot from Novak. And Nice, hits the line. Brilliant. It's out. It's out. So I'll break back point for Novak. Brilliant. Brilliant cross court. Backhand there. Challenging that. The ball was called out. Two challenges remaining. Advantage Djokovic. Good. Good. Send off that second break point now. Yeah, first ace of the match. And then, yeah, the ferociousness of the Djokovic serve, but at least. That's wide. Disappointing shot there. On the run. Back to juice now. Oh. Oof. Mm. 
once again not in the best shot there. That's out. So Djokovic breaks back. How much are we going to regret that? Yeah, surely Djokovic is going to start turning the screw now. Movement just seems a lot clunkier than it, than it was, particularly on the return. Good. I don't think we're quite hitting them as purely as we were, but it's not too bad. Too much pepper on that one. Oh. Some movement on the return that's troubling us there, but uh, Djokovic holds. Yeah, <laughs> good. wide. Just opened the face too early. Good serve again down the tee. Third ace of the match for us. Good solid hold. And this match is starting now pretty good. And it's just when Djokovic is middle in it, we're struggling, and that's to sort of be understood. Luckily for us, he hasn't found top form yet. The receiver. Challenging the ball on the left near sideline. The ball was called out. Oh, not quite. The wrong line. One challenge remaining. Fifteen love. Yeah. Thirteen. Mm, good. We're just struggling with the return of serve. It's completely different to what it was. I mean, we started out okay, a little 40, but since then we've struggled a bit. Mm. Well, I did miss. We're out of challenges now. It's a bit frustrating. That's a good serve, though. Well, that's the thing, there just seems to be more aces all round. Defending like crazy here. Not really playing too many of our attacking shots.
I'm doing okay. So far. Oh, we managed to get there. Oh, and that's out. Wow. What a miss from Novak there. We managed to just keep it in. Keep the rally going. And Djokovic went for it. And, wow, missed it by a mile. What a miss that could prove to be in this match. Reaching for take a shot that one. Let's first set. Nice shot. Break point now for Novak. Oh, that's wide. We brought him forward. We got the shot we wanted. But didn't play the perfect shot. Four two now. Better. Better. So he's coming forward a bit now. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Once again, catching the line. Love 30. Got love 30 here. Oh. Oof. Point because we were in that point there. Oh. Wide. So from love 30 back to 40 30 now. Apparently our 18th unforced error, I mean, it don't feel like it has been. Mm, that's up. There we go, 5-2 now. Got new balls at 2-5. Frustrating. Why isn't he hitting it? Uh, need to come back now. Four. Reset points. A very disappointing end to the set there, which for the a large part of it we competed with Novak, but in the end he's uh, took it and 21 unforced errors from us apparently. 
Oh, I don't think I fully believe that statistic, but Novak takes the first set 6-2, which, you know, isn't too surprising, but he's been there for the taking, I think. He hasn't, you know, battered us off the court, but he is getting everything back. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That was a seriously nice shot. Oh. He's got this sprained ankle, it's just took a medical time out. Lovely. What a lovely shot that was from Novak. So. Oh! Well, it didn't look pretty, but absolutely swept him off his feet. a key moment in the match really we've sort of gone into this second set very deflated oh that's a criminal miss as we'd hit the shot that we wanted to we got the smash and missed it by an inch, but we missed it. Love 40 here. Djokovic manages to break serve early in the second set and now we have to come back at him. We've got a free arm, you know, this is a free hit. We were expecting to get absolutely slaughtered, but I think what's more disappointing is that we've been in this match and if the game had maybe been on the previous patch, I feel like we could have competed today I think they've ruined the the baseline battles from this one match that I've played the return is is almost impossible at times Shot though from the back of the court. Missed. That was the purest drop shot we've hit, but was miles out, unfortunately. So, three love he's raced into the lead in the, the second set. 
far sideline. The ball was called out. I just can't believe we missed that by that far. Right in the corner, and lovely shot. Challenge. The ball was called out. Oh, that was close. One challenge. It's so important that we win this game. Oh, oh, oh challenging again. Just three very near misses. No challenges in Thirty forty. Lovely shot. What a way to save break point there. Okay, Djokovic didn't really hit his best shots there, but... Well, can't do anything about that. Number two. Nice. So Djokovic is now four love up in this second set. Amazingly enough, only his eleventh win out of the match. That's a nice shot. See. We've got a very free arm now because we're virtually guaranteed defeat. So we might as well go for our shots. We're 30 now. It would be nice to get another break of serve in there just to try and tighten this up a little bit. And that was very close, but seems to be on that side, don't we? Just uh, we waited for his moment and took it beautifully. That's a little bit of a harsh wind predictor, but you know, it's taken into account that he's just not going to lose from this position. Nothing to hit him with. Oh. It's wide. It's a disappointment from Love 30 once again that we've lost that and now we're serving to stay in this match. Oh. That was definitely in. That line guard's got it out for us. It's going to be a very disappointing end to this match. Started out so promisingly.
Hey! Won one point. Where we won the run the whole of it. He brought us forward with the drop shot. Tried to come and cut us off. But we hit the pass and shot down the line. Come on. Two match points for the world number three. Oh, and he's done it. He's done it. And even though he was injured a little bit, even though we... You know, I feel like we competed in most of the games... Djokovic showed his class in the end and he comes out of victor 6-2, six, 6-love six, and 100% uh, on the first serve 9 of those were aces 13 winners 3 unforced errors 2 of them were the first 2 points 20 winners for us 35 unforced errors taking 1 of 5 break points that we got in that opening game won 6 points of 9 at the net uh, only one half of the points that Djokovic did and that fastest serve 50 kilometers an hour it is a significant reduction and I think we've seen today how far we have to go until we are a top player so we have earned some good ranking points from the Monte Carlo Open I think we can be quite happy with how we've played here and uh, I'm sure we'll move up the rankings a little bit um, but yeah disappointing end the end so let's see uh, how it's how it's going to get a little bit of a performance uh, bonus which is nice but there you go we're now uh, oh Roger Federer won it in the end he beat Djokovic in the final 6-4-5-7-6-2 which is good up to 156 in the world now which is a, a nice uh, jump up the rankings um, but yeah, let's have a little look at uh, what we can do. So we've got uh, some money to spend, which is always nice. Because we can always upgrade our player a little bit more. Uh, try and get these attributes up a little bit. So there you go. There you go. We're up to 56 overall now. Um, in terms of our form, we're neutral, which is good. Um... We're a good sport. We've got a lot of energy in the tank, apparently. But there you go. Uh, I thought that was quite a good one. So let's submit the three-star rank. In 156 in the world, we got 45 more ranking points there. So let's have a little look at the schedule. So we've got a bit of a break now. Got a couple of Challenger 250s, but if we have a look at the calendar in general... Uh, we've got Madrid and, and Rome coming up, so I think we'll benefit from actually having a rest, coming back for the uh, the World 1000 tournaments and then having a rest before uh, the, the French Open, um, which is in a few weeks. We've obviously got Wimbledon to come up as well, we've got Queen's Club there, uh, so we've got some big tournaments, Halle obviously is one that, uh, that we might be interested in, but I think as a British player we've got to play... At Queen's Club. Stuttgart might be a good place to start our grass court uh, preparations. Uh, I don't think we need four weeks of, of preparations. I think after the French Open we'll need a bit of a rest. Um, but you know, if we can win a couple of matches at, at the French Open, we could be in the top 100, which would be a fantastic achievement. So let's go ahead, have that rest week. Uh, you know, we could play in, in Munich or Estoril, but I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. Let's rest. Rest up. Uh, we get our weekly sponsorship, which is good. Good tennis. We've got a Grand Slam coming up, so it might be time to get onto the practice court and build up your skills. Have a look at your schedule and let me know what you want to do. So here we go. Monte Carlo, Morocco. I don't think uh, that's where Monte Carlo is. 
But anyway, we've got the Madrid Open uh, coming up, which is going to be a, a really interesting tournament, actually. And obviously, we could start out playing somebody like like Djokovic straight away. So I think, actually, what we'll do is we'll go into it and we'll have a little look at who we are playing in the first round. Well, we're playing the 28th seed and Karina Buster. Uh, is down here Andy Murray at Tennis Sandgren up there so there's quite a lot of good players down in this half of the draw David Goffin there as well um, but actually it looks like we could potentially get through to the third round again we'll just have to have a little look uh, I think if we have a, a look at the top half of the draw we've got Roger Federer in there which is quite nice Kevin Anderson Raonic in that half of the draw as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to, to getting into that one in the next episode. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out, means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular AO Tennis content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.